Well, not only do we have Etna erupting, we also have Kilauea erupting as of last night, but we've also have to become aware of what's happening in the middle of Europe, in Germany. Germany has a volcano with an active caldera, and it's in the middle of Europe. It's rumbling with possible deformation from rising magma. The volcano caldera tucked away in western Germany, showing signs of activity in recent years, and geologists finding evidence of magma rising in the Lacher Sea volcano. We know that uh, this, this area is a very wonderful vacation spot for Germans. Little do they know when they go there for their summer swimming and boating that they're in the middle of a crater of a volcano. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos daily, even though there's a lot more because of YouTube restrictions on sensitive election material. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. They're totally different from what I have on YouTube. You'll find the link in the description box below each video. Thank you so much for your support. When the German volcano last erupted 12,900 years ago, the blast spewed a plume of ash and gas up to 21 miles high, and the initial, the initial eruption would have leveled trees up to two and a half miles away followed by weeks or months of activity that covered the surrounding valleys with ash and fallout. Geologists estimate plant life and animals up to 37 miles from the blast were exterminated, the result of the eruption reaching a volcan volcanic explosivity index VI of 6. Now for comparison, the last major eruption of Yellowstone volcano in the U.S. reached a VI of 8 and spewed more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. So geologists keep a watchful eye on this volcano and monitor it for troubling signs of activity. The Lasser Sea volcano of Germany. The volcano is known today, Lasser Sea or Lake Lach, after its prehistoric eruption formed a 1.2 mile caldera in Germany's northern day Rhineland. And more than a year ago, geologists announced the volcano was possibly recharging with magma after gas was seen bubbling out of the lake. You know, of course, we have volcanoes, even earthquakes. We have gas being released. And, uh, for example, uh, Long Valley Caldera in California releases gas daily, and Yellowstone Supervolcano releases 45,000 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. 45,000 tons of carbon dioxide from Yellowstone. That's how they found that they had a larger magma chamber underneath the magma reservoir under the magma chamber of Yellowstone. So they found gas emitting from, the, uh, from underneath the water in the lake. And that's how the bubbling was noticed that the gas was coming out, possible recharging of magma. And although the bubbling did not indicate an imminent eruption was brewing, Researchers said they obtained the first direct evidence of magmatic activity in the German volcano. Dr. Torsten Damm of German Research Center for Geoscience said at that time, he said, we concluded in our work that it is possible that magma is rising, but actually we can't see for sure that a large amount is rising. And he said it shows us that there is activity going on and also magmatic activity. And it's the first time that we direct evidence meaning direct in the sense of observing seismic signals, so we know it's really occurring now. Now, the bubbling gases was paired with small earthquakes and tremors around the caldera. The most recent quake was a magnitude 0.6 event on December 9 near Andernach. Now, could this be a sign of volcano rumbling back to life? The answer is no, according to Polish volcanologist Magda Chmura. Speaking in February last year, she assured such activities part of the natural volcano activity in La Sea. Now, Yellowstone National Park and surrounding areas, for instance, see between 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes every year, none of which are a sign of a brewing eruption. And volcanologists said, this, this volcanologist, Magda Chmurna, said, there's no danger of an eruption here in Germany. Recently, the seismographs operating at the Eiffel region were modernized and more sensitive instruments picked up a series of tremors under La Herse volcano 
at a depth of 10 to 40 kilometers. These types of vibrations may have occurred, she said, under the volcano before, but the instruments were not sensitive enough to pick them up. The shocks can be related to magma movements or the formation of cracks in the rocks, but they in no way herald an impending eruption, she said. Yet fears surround the German volcano, and it was at the heart of the 2009 German disaster film Vulcan. The film sees Lacher Sea unexpectedly rumble back to life, threatening the lives of people living in the area. So if the volcano was to erupt again today, the blast would be potentially cataclysmic. The website Volcano Discovery states, the Lacher is still considered to be an active volcano, proven by seismic activity and heavy thermal anomalies under the lake. Carbon dioxide CO2 gas from the magma still bubbles up the southeastern shore, and scientists believe that a new eruption can happen at any time, which today would be a disaster beyond all description. That's according to Volcano Discovery. La Hercie's last big eruption is comparable in size to the eruption of Mount Pinatumbo in the Philippines in 1991, and according to U.S. Geological Survey, the eruption was the second most powerful blast of the 20th century. USGS says nearly 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide were ejected into the stratosphere in Pinatubo's 1991 eruptions, and dispersal of this gas around a cloud around the world caused global temperatures to drop from 1991 to 1993 by about one degrees Fahrenheit. The eruptions have dramatically changed the face of central Luzon, home to about 3 million people there. This is uh, by Express UK, Sebastian Ketley. All of you in Hawaii, please be very careful. And also in Utah, we had a 4.3 earthquake um, yesterday. So uh, the same, basically, uh, just around the time, not far from the time of the Hawaii 4.4 magnitude with Kilauea's eruption. Thank you for your support, and please leave your comments. Thank you.